Well... Well what? Well, we've decided to play your game. Oh, that. Okay. Okay? You tortured us for centuries just because we wouldn't play your game. You made me and Chris play Broken Sword over and over again for a hundred years. Oh yeah, and if I, if I remember correctly, I also drove Chris to crush your head like a grape. <laughs> then you reanimated us, sent us back in time to the day before you kidnapped us, just so you could do it again? So... well? Look, baby, I'm past the whole I have no what's in such face. Besides, two best friends in Retsu Prey already did this. But our fans asked us to play this. I'm on to a whole new level of mayhem. A new dimension of misery and torment. Much more than killing off all but three losers and let them wander the desolate wasteland for eons. I've decided to revitalize dormant PC franchises and port them to the iPad. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Then I slow the gameplay down to a crawl, stuff it with unnecessary cutscenes, bookended by unskippable ads, litter the screen with pop-ups, and then make you purchase microtransaction after microtransaction just so you can unlock one one billionth of something that resembles actual gameplay. I hope none of you had any strong attachments to Theme Hospital. How dare you, Am? How dare you? So go ahead, play your little game. It probably won't be funny anyway. Slow your roll there, Buster Brown. We're scum of the earth. And no matter how bleak, depressing, or dire the situation or subject, we can make a joke out of anything. We can make anything funny. <laughs> Except maybe sexual assault. Or the Holocaust. Better not make jokes about that. Or Zeppelins. No reason in particular, I just don't find them funny. Well, it's a good thing we don't have to play a game with any of that stuff. It's the Scum of the Earth 500 Subscriber Special! Featuring Jason Kelly, Andrew Vaughn, Chris Vaughn, the bleakest game imaginable! With musical guest, 500 subscribers! And now your host, Allied Master Computer! Well, here we go. We've been waiting a long time for this. A lot of people have emailed us asking to do this. A let's play of one of my top five games of all time. I have no mouth, and I must scream. But don't, because you'll peek the mic. You're always complaining about that. The Dreamer's Guild. Brought to you by the Stonecutters Union. I love the music. It's, it sounds like a, like one of those jumpstart to fourth grade games. When like, it's like in a spooky mansion. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. Vanilla wafer-thin layers. The word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles. It would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. Um, I think you one one billion hate, is eleven billion. Hate! It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who had me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. This is the worst retelling of Frost the Snowman ever. And gave me the ability to wage a global war. Do they make straitjackets out of rock now? Human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke. And I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. 
cogito ergo sum. I think after Jason took a few philosophy I classes, am. he also tried to and kill almost every human on Earth. Killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. That's what Descartes was getting around to, right? I think years. therefore I am. Therefore, I kill all humans. Oh, I just assumed that college was really stressful for Jason. For 109 years, each of you has wondered. Hey, I just bought that microwave I, in the middle. Why me? Why me? Gorister! Whoa! You remember the last Calm it down, Harlan. Your wife speak before they Woody Harrelson is so shocked. Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room, she looked at you so sadly. And like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I? Dude, I haven't finished True Detectives yet. Stop with the spoilers. He's rocking out. Yep, rocking out. He's posing for a mega death cover on. He looks like he just got out of Woodstock. No, he looks like he's from the Warriors. Here, underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, he looks like I Thing. Through your arms so you Doesn't he? Scratch With a bad word. <laughs> I was thinking a beast, mm. and but not I've blue. changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into uh, the hideous, warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. This is the massive improvements of the ape so thing, why? children. Do you and think you there's any chance of an ape thing? escape in this game? Remember the private first class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No. Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember it, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Is he the computer that wore tennis shoes? Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which she felt the pain? He's referring to that minecart level in Donkey Kong Country. It's only oh gosh. Pain. That's such a I think she was scared because when she was a kid she watched just uh, the Yellow Submarine. The pain. And she imagined Ellen. how cramped it must be and in the Yellow Submarine. how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart. You know, some my person's getting shot, someone's getting belly, stabbed, and her, her, her door's just bowels. jammed a little bit. Seems more like an inconvenience than anything. Careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? Do they care? They've been down here for 109 years. Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> so many laser pointers! Sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the like pastry corn? He's not dark. frightened, just kind of Tell missed. Again, it's like Dr. Wiley got a haircut. And, and you That's thought they might be off. roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. I mean, there was a Dr. Cossack. Maybe be there was a Dr. Nazi. my good friend. We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures. My good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? Oh, oh, that's us! I think all, oh, I think all three of us can play. Should, should I call Graham and Kyle? I think we need two extra people. Yeah, I, th I think um actually, the uh, the game that has all those things is Flux. He's thinking of. 
Playing Flux for 109 years, that doesn't sound so bad. I uh, thought we've, we've played games that seem to have lasted that long. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... We're going to want to replicate... Our first playthrough of this game, I think. And the first time we played, we couldn't help but pick Ted! <laughs> oh my god, is he just Vince McMahon? Ted, <laughs> you're fired! No, he's Am. I'm pretty sure he said that like 50 times. Broop, broop, broop. Hey, you're my favorite baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards, every one of them. Not you, Ted, no. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You He's were bonfire. a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So, I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the room of dark. If you can solve the battle, the lights oh, you know, burnt out quite dark. a while ago. You're free. You out. Away. Now, Anne, did you did you play test and debug this game before you let everyone play it? Because I don't want our computer to crash. I made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared. So overcome your fear. Enter the room of dark, and you can solve its mystery. Huh? This is gonna be missed. And win fabulous prizes. I love it. I hope we get one of those huffy bikes. You'll probably get a piece of the aggro crag. I'm gonna turn the sound down real quick, or the music. Sorry. Um, it was a little overpowering. <laughs> you know, it'd probably be like the worst torture for him if they made him into a teddy bear and made him be in a terrible Seth MacFarlane movie the arrows pointing toward <laughs> the room of dark should I follow it? Is that Kyle McLaughlin? which is the worst of the two choices I'll tell you it would be a bad situation if, if Anne told them that they had to survive 110 years but then because of a technicality technicality like these first 109 don't which count one shows a scene Ugh. of some other place why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say, high five a clown. These video screens have palm print switches next to them. So we got uh, Ninja Gaiden. We got Willie Beamish. Uh, Castlevania. Ooh, Carnival. Carnival. <laughs> and then I'm guessing this one. <laughs> Alan Wake. Ugh, I kind of look like Alan Wake, but I sound like Dr. Max Loughton. Go with the clown. I never liked going to the circus. All those clowns with their phony grease paint smiles. You can't tell what they're Not really more thinking. grease paint. Are you kidding me? Also, last time I went to the circus, I was turned into a little girl for an entire level. Does he not sound like Max from Sanitarium? This looks like the tire swing at the farm I grew up on. Clarence! What does Sam know about my childhood? Is he taunting me? Does he remember that time Mr. Gower slapped me deaf? You've you've been tortured forest. for 109 years. You're just wondering if Anne is messing with you. Through. This forest is dark, foreboding. Maybe like Demolition Man, Demolition Man, they've actually been asleep for 109 years. Why show me a rooftop? Why not a door? And why this particular rooftop? Santa's coming. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. Yeah, we're using Windows 7 and we're watching this game. Okay, so... What happens if you, if you touch one? Push it real red. Oh, you're dead. Sort of oh, never mind. Plotting this time. It's left me here alone. It's still... I feel as though I'm being watched. Seek souls. Seek larger souls. It's even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. Yeah, I already don't like this character. This gargoyle is even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. No, this gargoyle's even larger. 
That's the third largest gargoyle <laughs> I've ever seen. This old drawbridge is in ruins. I don't trust it to hold my weight. Big fat ass. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, Appearance is everything. And and where have you been for the last 109 years? Like, I would think that this is kind of a step up. Yeah, I'd be like, oh my god, thank god I'm not in a tiny box getting laser <laughs> shot in my eyes. So, oh my god, how quaint. Oh, satanic iconography. <laughs> oh, I remember when I was in seventh grade. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor. Ugh, uh, SJW. Ellen. There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. Is he talking about us? We're not that bad, guys. Why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. Jazz, there must mostly. Be dozens of volumes. Why, this is a collection. Let's try using. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. Too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Hey, one game at a time, okay? <laughs> we'll play another world when we get a thousand subscribers. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. Like gold I've read into a fair gold. Of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. It's called alchemy. Come on. Philosopher's Stone is just the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> Theoretically, I mean, you'd actually waste billions of dollars for one ounce of gold, but it can be done. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. it Go into the chapel and I'm gonna marry gargoyles. Where's Goliath? Now that's the third biggest gargoyle I've ever seen. <laughs> that's not a gargoyle. Don't gargoyles have to have to have a basin Nothing for rain? Nothing special about this rod except for the those are just statues. Gargoyle face on top of gargoyles. <laughs> Brooklyn, <laughs> Goliath, <laughs> Bronx. Ooh, is that something from Dungeon Keeper? I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. That's the most evilest looking pogo stick I've ever seen. Why, it's Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? She was so disgusted she had to sleep it off. So tired, so weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes, maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear, and this bed is so soft. So soft, it's like torture! <laughs> you monster! <laughs> Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. Well, you'd think that, but uh, yeah. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this and suffering will I anymore, Ted. 
The things I've endured. Help me to die. The beds, Dig the sheets, the pillows. The thread count is dangerously low. Death. It's like sandpaper. It's not even sleep number. Yeah, it's sleep number. 666. Six, six. No, don't go. That's so firm. We need, you. we need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. What? She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare Who's your stepmother, Nimdok? There's only five of us. <laughs> Am's not only evil, he's also a hack. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Perfume bottles, jewels. So this is tailored to Ted. Mirror. Yeah. Is he like five? That his his is a fucking fairy tale? Oh, maybe he's just a big King's Quest fan. All all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't get Ellen out of bed Despite once again. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. Jesus Christ. You know what he reminds me of? Reminds me of Leonardo DiCaprio's character in frickin' Wolf of Wall Street. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you work here? I have to complain about the beds and the torture. Excuse me. Do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say. You're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. What about Benny? He's hung like an ape. Guess what? Apes aren't actually hung that well. And he has a bone in his dick. Also, he's gay. <laughs> what happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen. Spoilers. Well, I thought that was only in the story. Lion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Spoilers to the short story. Let's talk about you. Hey, spoilers for a short story are a lot more damning than spoilers to an epic. I don't know. I'd hate to read, you know, 400 pages into a 500-page novel and have someone spoil the ending after I've done all that work. Uh, Jason, guess what? Three days later, Jesus comes back. From where? Oh, they crucify him. What? Yeah, sorry, man. Son of a bitch! Hey, he comes back. It's cool. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. What's your sleep number, wench? Nothing! It's actually just a stack of hay! She sleeps on those feathers. So there's all these wolves outside trying to kill us? Can we just call Geralt to Rivia and have him clear him out? Hold on, hold on. How come when you do her voice, she's just one of the members of Monty Python and drag? Oh, I'll watch him! It was enchanting dying with you. Because, <laughs> cause, you, know, you know. It's a fairy tale. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of that. Where can I find This is mirror? real life to me! With a mirror. Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle. I don't think ugly people are like that. <laughs> As an ugly person, I can speak. I'm not like, Andy, get rid of the mirrors! Yeah, and how many mirrors are in your room? Point taken. <laughs> Please, I need to find a mirror. And you I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my Don't bed. do it. From the author of an indecent proposal, a disgusting proposal. That's Don't do a it. Flattering oh, offer, good. But I'm not. I mean, interested. she probably won't even wash her hands after plucking the chicken. Just ugh, unsanitary. She can pluck my chicken. Wait, no, that sounds horrible. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> I, the only euphemism I can think of that for being would be literally plucking your chicken. Like, <laughs> hey, lady, quit plugging that chicken. Pluck my chicken. Oh! Why would, why would I do that? I've already plucked. I don't work for you. <laughs> Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? 
A brave retelling of Pretty Woman. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep with you if you're the last woman on Earth. Yeah, so as soon as Alan's dead, sure. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep with you if you had a over 140 count thread on your cheeks. Well, I wouldn't sleep with you unless you were holding a small bird. <gasps> My love has finally come! I'm sure I wouldn't sleep with you unless you gave me a mirror in return. Belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much A woman? Happier. I can, you know. I think this is... She's just really doing the hard sell, isn't she? Look, he keeps I am not getting going taken to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. We Fuck this split. chicken! Skin and potatoes. It, I'll, get you a mirror. I'll give you a mirror. That's really it? Okay. So I'm gonna try and fix this oven. I'm gonna get frustrated when I can't fix it. She's gonna make fun of me for not having sex with her. Then I'll kill her with a hammer. And then, of course, Billy Bob Thornton shows up. You did this. You this killed her. Is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. Saint what? <laughs> this oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. Yeah, they were so much worse than the 109 years I've been tortured. Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. So apparently, Am keeps a very clean torture chamber. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? That was quite a puzzle. I'm I don't impressed, know Chris. Where a mirror is, but at least now I can finish dinner. Why well, you used me, you bitch? Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I thought it was the other way around. With your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. Listen, all you did was help her with the buns in that oven so you didn't have to put a bun in hers. You're just a phony. Also, your clothing is very anachronistic. What the hell are you wearing? need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. The quickest change of heart in video game history. <laughs> But she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. It's at the mirror store. Where can I find the old woman? You might try her bedroom. She's always studying her books. Doesn't go near the master's books, though. Never saw what those two had in common. Okay. This is a collection of books on the black... What's that on the floor? Is that, like, is that glass or something? Oh, yeah, you're right. Man, black arts are stupid. Why would you limit yourself to only one color? Like, there's plenty of cool colors to use in your painting, not just black. Glass. Pieces of a broken mirror. I'll use these. No, everyone knows that once you break a mirror, it stops working. You can do it, Chris. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Ow! I cut myself. <laughs> you fucking pansies! That's my torture. You'll get a cut every few hours. <laughs> Ow, that kind of hurt. Okay, I think we read them all, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. We know everything there is to know. Maybe we need to go back and talk to Ellen and tell her we've, we've failed and we can't find her mirror. Special about this you read a book. Oh, it's too bad. I don't know Arabic. You read another book? Well, I know Arabic now. <laughs> oh, we what? just moved! <laughs> what what did you do <laughs> that, bitch? Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, I fixed the door. What? You did that how? I'm I... walking. Put the icon in it. Oh, that's just super. The door latch is broken. His jams were so fresh. The door just fixed itself. Oh, cool. Now I won't get eaten by wolves. Have I mentioned I've played this game before? Okay, now you can equip that suit of armor, and you can go fight the witch. Uh, 
This must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. Wait, did I say talk to or walk to? Oh, man. <laughs> you need to talk to the boar? I want to talk to Bebop. How's Rocksteady? <laughs> I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. Bill O'Reilly? I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. David Blaine? This looks like a diary. And Frank? <laughs> the first passage reads, my new wife can No, it should read MY NEW WIFE! <laughs> Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote. Yeah, to she's just not pulling in the ratings now. Very far away. I must assemble a caravan. They'll probably replace her next season. The final passage reads: The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. Wait, this is a D and D journal. A compliment of men, I shall return alive, but I must try. There's even notes of their last playthrough. Brian leveled up! Good for him. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. Can you gentlemen guess the theme of this level? He made them all out of Legos. They're all this is books discussed about the nature of in love. the PBS show Arthur? Sorry Andy, I was looking for Wishbone. Looks like you failed. 109 more years of torture. No! I At least I have a lot of books to read! It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. It's also not very funny. Wait a minute, Arthur, I thought that was the show about the boxcar racing. No, that is torture. I've in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. So, marital problems? Why don't you just like enough, pick up I'd the sheet and on all the dust. get all the dust out? Just shake it. I used to work out, but I doubt I could move this by myself. I worked out 109 years ago. I think I know a two a thing or two about. Hey, have you read that book that you Secret that we have? Like, what is that book that we actually have? Psychological framework. A paranoid personality is characterized by delusions of grandeur, suspicions of plots, and heightened feelings of anxiety and jealousy. Oh, okay. It is a short book. One page? What is going on? <laughs> Funk is on a roll. That's what's going on. Let's do it again. I've had, uh, I've had 109 years to perfect my moonwalk. You know what? His moves are almost on par with Hugo's. Is Lady Ellen prepared? She's on five minutes. As ready as she will ever be. I like the, uh, the, the hand gestures. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the It glamour? looks like an hey, Italian man hey, is hey, speaking to Medusa. Wait, yeah, hey, come on. <laughs> it remains Please don't tell me to stall. <laughs> and she then looks like she's doing jerk off motions. <laughs> With his help, yeah, we can right. open the gate I don't to feel the like you world. respect me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> every every ancient castle led by a gorgon has to have the authentic pizza chef from Sicily. A secret passage. Put waiting the candle right back. It's the witch. She's kind of foxy. Hey Sindel, love your Mortal Kombat 3. Incantation, perhaps? These are my ninja <laughs> shadow moves. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. 
Now we can begin our ritual. I can do a pretty good moonwalk, but I wouldn't say I'm as I'm as funky as, as Prince. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm gonna fuck the taste right out of her mouth. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? That's my I name, need Ted to Charming. Gain her trust to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What? This isn't the real world? I thought I finally escaped Am's clutches into a magical, mystical wonderland. How do you know this is movie land? Andy, I said this is one of my top five games, not the greatest game ever made. <laughs> Davidson is in the house! What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. Ah, that movie The Gate's too spooky for me. Hey, wait, is she talking about the portal to Out Outworld? Because yeah. don't you just have to fight more people if you need to there? Like, that's kind of a worse situation, right? I mean, smoke What's could show up. The gate? the gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this Steven place. Dorf's like nine years old in it. Dorf? What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Well, you Ellen's have the highest uh, she has war been skill. It to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. I need you to moonwalk. Can do. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror Will you holds smash great the mirror? power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Well, I guess seven more years of bad luck compared to everything he's been through. Compared not really to 109. <laughs> I mean, I can't. He'll, he'll skate by. <laughs> Oh great, I have only bad luck for seven years. I can't tell if he's Roger Daltrey, Prince, I Michael am aging Jackson, or David Bowie. Despite my powers, I am a slave to From vanity. the back with that cardigan, he looks like Mr. Rogers. To look into the mirror. This witch has a surprising amount of introspection. <laughs> Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. Are you fucking serious? Well, I was just there. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. No, that was Without the table it, I cannot she guarantee uses that I can for dressing. The ceremony. You need to find the table where she keeps her dressings. It's in the kitchen. Why can't you open the gate without the it's mirror? It's in the hidden valley. There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. Oh, the Scooby-Doo game. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! Fuck you too. Whoa. What's Fucking old hat. me if I help you. An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. I'll tell you what, the actress in this movie, or I'm sorry, in this game, does a much better job of Sindel than in the movie. Hold on, hold on. So these are all programmed by Am, aren't they? Or are they just made by, like, they're NPCs. Instead. Oh, do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Does that be gone? Does that mean if you have sex with the the servant, you're having sex with Am? Yes. Oh you're having God. sex with Am and every other computer Am has had sex with, unless you wear a computer condom. Well, I do have my firewall up to date, so I'm using production. Partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. This must be part of a black ritual. <laughs> Fucking racist. Is there something up there that keeps flashing? No, they both flash. I think you just have some messed up pixels. Whoa! Oh my god, she literally meant go to the devil. Yeah, he's- I am so- I feel so bad about all those awful things I said about her. The devil looks like he works at a TGI Fridays or something. <laughs> Look at that flare. <laughs> is- is he wearing sandals with socks? Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? <laughs> <laughs> What a catty bitch! I like this guy. What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. He trades them like Pokemon Can you cards. Tell me where Ellen's mirror is. Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Who 
is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks indeed. Wait, so he's the devil, but there's other devils? I don't understand what's going on here. Demonology is really confusing. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like school children? Well, it's well, like one of them before. said my mom smells. <laughs> exactly like you do them here or used to do them before Am took over. There's a lot of paperwork. It's it's really overwhelming sometimes. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ted, you're one of the good ones. <laughs> What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts. Haven't you played power, Diablo or read the manual for Diablo? Struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? Stock market you must decide mostly. who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please, go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. See? Can't let her get away with those holy goods, see? I love how they, they talk about the soul like it's going to spoil, you know? Like, we got to take up to heaven or hell and get in the refrigerator or, you know, it's just not worth anything to anyone. Holy Unix, Batman! Hmm. This is the only lock I've seen in the entire castle. Is Anne trying to lure me in or does he want to keep me out? I've got more questions to ask you. Don't bother me anymore. I've got to get back. Listen, I'm sorry. Don't bother me anymore. Ugh. You had your chance, Chris. Why, this is a collection of books on the black. Let's roll all the books. What is that? Oh, wait, looks like there's more. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, Complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Oh man, are we gonna need the dragon ring? <laughs> well, luckily I'm up on my Shakespeare, or I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch wow, must have cool. cast on Ellen. Wow, went to high school. That's the great. The is Kala Ingma Thacko. Thacko, these are just more D&D &D manuals. They're literally all over the place. Ingmar Bergman, fuck you. This sconce opens a secret. Klaatu, Veratus, Nick. How about show don't tell, bud? Hey, what's cracking, old rogue? What a horrible old witch. She seems ready to kill. I didn't know she's old. Second. Maybe that little could be white patch in her hair just spread. No, she stole the powers from old man. Where would I take her? Oh, she's meant to no talk. safer place in this <laughs> entire castle than her own bed. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! I roll nat 20s all the time. What do I need to do the, the spell then? You need five candles, 
Uh, maybe a star next to you? A big triangle on the wall and some demon gargoyles? I have all of those things right here. Uh, Kala Igma Krako, Kala Igno Wacko, Kala Igma, and their sister Dot. <laughs> um, okay, I got it. Klaatu Barada. <clears throat> if I uh, choose this one, I get two hay pennies. Not one, but two hay pennies. Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako. Ah, <sighs> I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. But this is totally unrelated to the spell you just <laughs> used. Remember, kids, always keep your spells in a trapper keeper with a lock. I'm going to put it in my girl journal. It only I responds to it. my voice. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is just like that thug, Banksy. No, rich white people like Banksy now, remember? Oh, that's true. Whoa! Why'd you have to finish the circuit? Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. I'm gonna trade you this shard of glass for all of the souls you have ever taken. Shit! <laughs> I'll trade you my Shout Shaco for two refined. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him, a part that he doesn't know exists. The appendix. Hmm, what kind of locks can you open? I Maybe it's the part of him that only love can open. Doors to another world. I keep telling you we'll play that game when we get a thousand subscribers. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete I will send a trade. You to trade school. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. No, he's talking about fantasy football. I am not your sticker, bitch. I smell collusion! Wait, was it Kala Ingna Sacco? Or... Shiva Kamini Soma Kandaka! <laughs> Can you open a gate into the surface world? Now that's a tall order, and the only thing you've got is a little love. Not exactly true love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people. Or... Uh, excuse me, the Beatles told me all I need is love. Wow, he's really having to bargain, isn't he? Love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen. Give me her you soul. You come in and trade and in your love. You'll get no money world. down on a new <laughs> Ford Focus. Wouldn't it be like her Kia Soul? Jason, you motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking kill me. How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that old hag. I want something that you value. I like uh, this old hag. She's she's hip. I have Earthbound inbox. <laughs> Shit, I'll take that. Let me think about your offer. Don't think too long, human. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. What? This it's is this online multiplayer! Holy crap! Wow, revolutionary. We better hurry up. This is like way before Meridian 59. Hmm. Is Anne trying to lure me in? Hmm. So I need to trade Ellen's soul? To open that door? Yeah, let's go. maybe we can go back and talk to her. Let me don't think too oh, no. This to the give command. I'm just gonna stab him. 
That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Let me... Don't think too long! I want you to open up that maid's room, it's the only one's locked! Maybe he's one of those metaphorical gatekeepers, you know? Like he just knows a lot of stuff? Yeah, he like just... he's the gatekeeper to literacy or numbers or something really... Right. The door's locked. Why don't you push in the, the actual door locked. instead of the wall? <laughs> Whoa. Maybe we can talk to Ellen. Maybe she's got some insight. Whoa! Hi. Silver Sentry, what you doing in here? Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to then guide her soul take her, her out of here. What are you waiting for? Okay, that lady has bones of a bird. You want her to try and carry Ellen away? Oh, that's right. Can They're just going to plumb her to the ground. where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. What if two if angels where and was, a piece of tree bark try and carry Ellen away? Fallen brother. You mean your stylishly fallen brother? <laughs> Looks like he fell into a Ross. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Oh, Sir God, he's the guy that works with M. Bison. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. No, I, I kind of gave it to a demon. Please hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return. With or without an antidote. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Are you blind as well? I it's not your there! Dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years. And now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. You know what? I'm just going to give up and, and give Sir Gott the soul. I'm out of ideas. Come on, push the fucking sconce, Ted. Oh, wait. Can you <laughs> unlock the maid's Thanks for your logic, game. It is done. A trivial little task. <laughs> One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is Luckily for the programmers. <laughs> I don't believe you can <laughs> unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Why would he not believe Why that of all the things that have happened? 
I don't know. I have a feeling you put a bucket of water over her door sill. Oh, maybe maybe the uh, the demon will slime him like Nickelodeon. I don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> be the servants' quarters. Is that the devil? Like, is that the guy wearing the devil's costume? The devil's looking into a hand mirror. Oh, that is the devil. He looks a lot different there. These things would only interest a peasant. Jeez, Christ, Ted. These things would only interest a peasant. Besides, I don't want to get caught stealing. I've been caught stealing once. That's five. It's bolted to the wall. This is so cracked I can barely see myself. Maybe you can take a piece of it or something. Or what about that uh, thing on the... What is that? It's bolted... Is that a, a seashell? An onion? It's like an inkwell. Mm, the scullery maid was right. This is a very cozy bed. I don't think that's what she was alluding to, Ted. <laughs> Are we sure Benny's the gay one? I caught you red-handed. I saw a tapestry made of you. It was like a thousand years ago. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> she made him! Tapestry in the maid's bedroom. That's why I never I let people do make pains on me doing mirrors. incriminating things. Oh, all right. I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. The pornographic anime characters in this now? Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? So what do we know about angels? Where would they never go? Uh, well, I learned everything from religion from the movie Little Nicky, so I'm going to say it's in a Popeye's chicken? I, this yeah. is a cool. Angels hate to read. Now, Little Nicky, that was the uh, the Game Boy game, right? The Game yeah. Boy Color game? Here's a picture of. Well, luckily, I'm up. say it's in a book Wait. because I know that angels are all illiterate. Quite an impressive collection. Aha! There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hit it. So angels hate comedies? Yeah. Like what? little Nicky! It's all coming together. Adam Sandler is am. <laughs> Wait a minute. A for Adam and M for Sandler. Now, see, we had to fight am, allied master computer. The next game, we got to fight om, which stands for Opraman, bye bye. We've been. I've been holding you here for eight crazy nights. Try that again, you said holding. I've been holding you for eight crazy nights. I am Surgate. Unlocker of doors. Okay. Who do I give the mirror to? Your mom. This looks like an ordinary hand mirror, but I can't be sure if... Guess we give it to. Oh, I look Ellen? so tired. Give it and empty. to the devil. Wait, no, it's give it to the to angel because the devil's looked at himself in the mirror apparently. No, give it to the devil because he needs to see what she he's wearing. It's fucking ridiculous. God mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much. I called much dibs. And Damn it. To many. She deserves well, you salvation. You have the devil your soul. He Listen to this. me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm. I know it. Him and the mater and cahoots. Get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. 
So now we gotta convince the devil to leave. Please, this is go great. away. I mean, Sorry, but I had first dibs on this soul, and I'm not taking my eyes off of it until that angel leaves. That, that was your plan? Just please go away? Better than the angels. Hey, I'm just gonna wait. I found Ellen's mirror. You now wield great power in your hands. However you use it, the choice must be yours. Oh, let's let's fry ants. Let's fry ants with hold it, on, Chris. On, Come on. on. Does God or any of the angels actually have powers, or do they just speak in cryptic things and never do anything? Oh, you got to do it. Uh, it's 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 all in you. You have the power. Andy's harsh criticism on religion. My, I am gorgeous. Why I could just plunge right into myself. What? Go plunge yourself. Ellen Whoa! Is now safely in heaven. <laughs> My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. I like the uh the kid picks transitions they use in this. I'm starting to think Anne's a little wacky. Now I just gotta trap the Grim Reaper up in a tree. I like that the little devil's face is stuck there in the mirror. That would be great to show to someone else and be like, this is what you look like and just totally the freaking out. trapped inside the mirror. I wonder how long it will hold her. I assume you mean by freak out a person, you mean a five-year-old because literally no one would be freaked out by that. This is just a picture glued to a mirror. <laughs> What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? I brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Uh, the giant computer that talks to me every day? Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over. We're the original you odd couple. Holy Moses. I should strangle you now Shadow and save Moses. Am the trouble. I mean, Don't holy you even Moses. think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, Just remember, I'm not in the book. will be expunged. Human, Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Woo! All at one! Huh? Of oh. this turgid. Ted was happy, now he's less happy. There's no more to come. Even though I got to dress up as a woman. And a human. <laughs> Too bad, Ted. <laughs> right. Oh, Harlan. In sweet agony. With the knowledge, the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. Do you know that Isaac Asimov taught him how to blow raspberries? Who among you shall go next? Well, that's a mystery. You'll have to wait to the next episode to find out. That's okay. a terrible mystery. Okay, fine. It's going to be Gorster. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay. I'm not. <laughs>